We cap off our CBS College Basketball doubleheader on Rump Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. And it's the Gonzaga Bulldogs and the 17th ranked Wildcats of Kentucky. Welcome to Rump, everybody. Brad Nussler with my partners, Bill Raftery. Jay Wright, important game, guys, even though it's not one of those games where you go, well, they're playing for a number one seed and that type of thing. It's a big one, and it's the greatest arena to have a big one, right, Rob? They, both these teams are coming off big-time performances. Kentucky dropping 109 on Vanderbilt. The Zags dropping 96 on Portland. This is going to be a show today. It's big, Brad, because Jay's here. <laughs> what more do we need? <laughs> but I would throw it at the Zags, I think, more essential, wouldn't you? Definitely, definitely. Kentucky probably in good shape for postseason play, but a signature win for them at this point in the year would be important also. You saw Mark Few and John Calipari, one of Hall of Famer, one on his way to being so, and we're underway in Lexington, Mr. Raptory. Yeah, Brad Nestle, Jay right now. The Zags go. <laughs> Reed Shepard at the point for Kentucky. One of the two freshmen in the starting lineup. I think both clubs, right, Jay? A lot of ball screens. Good control on Reeves there. And the opener goes for Justin Edwards. For those of you who want to see the conclusion of the Illinois-Michigan State game, go to CBSSports.com and the CBS Sports app. A little run out ball screen, empty side to a nice look, and he can drill a McRae. Nice opener by Nolan Hickman. And on the other end, block uh, shot. How about Greg's hustle to get back and Hickman under him? And stolen by Shepard, who leads the SEC in steals. Sees people gambling a little more than he was earlier in the year. If we wanted whether they were going to go up and down with each other or not, you got the answer. <laughs> right? We got it now. They are going. Holy ball, Jay. You love to do this with your team. And look at the fine. Nice look by Watson. Gonzaga's got a more of an inside post-up game than Kentucky. Kentucky a little bit more driving space, which we've seen early here with Justin Edwards taking to the rim. A Philly boy rap. Mm -hmm. And you did recruit him as a younger guy, right? Yeah, I've enjoyed this part of coaching, going to see these games and <laughs> see the guys that I didn't get. That got right. away. Yeah. It's fun to watch him play. It's fun to watch this guy. He's having a terrific year. Tough shot. Off the front of the iron for Reeves, out of bounds, Gonzaga. Ness, I don't know, Raph, I, I think Gonzaga's underrated defensively. If you, if you look at the numbers, they're a pretty good defensive team. Kentucky's kind of struggling that area, but Gonzaga is, is one of the top 14, 15 defensive teams in the country. Now, when you play quickly, it looks as though you're not guarding, but they do a good job, I would agree. He can shoot it. Greg from outside, got the three. Well coached, confident group. It is pure. That is, he's the second best shooter. Hickman probably the best, and Ben Gregg the second best shooter on the team. A, a Zag team is usually a great three-point shooting team. Shepard, nice the bounce pass. What a look. That, arrow. that wide open dribble drive. Great vision. Shepard. Kentucky's such a young team, and most young teams struggle with sharing the ball or get a little stuff. It's not this team. EK has it blocked inside. Out of bounds for the Zags. Well, they changed the shot, though. I guess there was control, huh? Zaggy gets it with 29, but how pretty is this with the little dive to the rim? Shepard, great feel and understand. Coach on the floor. And the Duthiero understand he's not a great three-point shooter, so when the drive happens, don't stand on a three-point line. Cut to the basket. How about these two coaches today, guys? I mean, really, two of the greatest in our game going at it here on Saturday afternoon in Rupp Arena. Too easy for that post. Oh, look at the full EK. This is the left-hand hook. Craig is so tough. Whoa. Hustles. He competes. He does. Since, since they took Dusty Strother out of the starting lineup and they put Ben Gregg in there, he's become their second-best rebounder, and you saw it there. This is where they're good when he gets in the lane. All the way across the baseline of right back. To Edwards, jumper, rebounded by Gonzaga. Now you talk about the defense. That was excellent. Impressive defensive possession. Yeah. Hickman on a runner. Got it back and got it to go. They are here to compete. They really are. They are ready. That's the area that, Ken that Kentucky has struggled defensively, is guarding the dribble and keeping people out of the lane, and it creates offensive rebounding opportunities. 
30 second time out right here. Raph, how about how about Greg's if they put him in the starting lineup? Hey, you get shots like this, you get offensive rebound too. Exactly. He is such an aggressive kid. A lot of personality during the course of a game. Emotes a little bit. And when you get a guy like that, where the Zags have struggled this year a little bit compared to their normal Zags teams or top five in the country is is shooters. And they and they've added Ben Greg to the starting lineup, but you're adding a shooter and also a great rebounder to get you some extra baskets on the offensive glass. Michigan State has held on to beat Illinois in our first game. And that's a good one. That's a good one for the Spartans, isn't it? They, oh, they needed that absolutely. for their resume. Nine losses already. By the way, folks, Rob Dillingham is coming in the game. Hold that on. is uh, <laughs> that is 175 pounds of lighter fluid. That's what that is. <laughs> that's good. I, I, wanted it, I wanted it to happen while the game was going on so we could hear the crowd <laughs> erupt as he walks to the scorer's table. That's always fun. And then has got the assignment, too. Good footwork has contained the bounce early. See if we can do it with that guy. Dillingham come off a 20-point game the other night against Vanderbilt, but the game before that, 35 against Tennessee. So let's see if he can start to light it up here for Kentucky, who trails by seven early. Ivasic on the floor now as well. This ball rebound goes to Hickman. These two guards play a ton of minutes. Hickman and Nembar. They don't have a lot of backup guys. Hickman over Shepard. If he makes threes, they are a different team. Good hustle play again by Greg, even though they don't get it. That's that's the Zags team. In, in the games where, they, where they've hit six threes or more, they're six and one, and the only one they lost was to Purdue. But when they hit threes, you're right, and Hickman's big on that. Greg's already got one. Let's follow that and see how these guys stick it from three. nebhart has got to get a couple. Why didn't you take more threes? <laughs> Shot him up. We slept in the streets. Shooting those streets. You got to sleep in the streets sometimes. Strength, huh? Look at oh. this. Wow, is he strong. What do you say, like 25 pounds heavier, maybe? Yeah, and I think three or four inches. Last year, he was only about 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. He's 6'8 six, now. He did that over and through EK. And that lights the crowd up a little bit. Same play as early in the run out. Hickman Ready. off the glass. But they know how to freeze guys at the rim. They really do. Guys, I, I want. We talked about this at dinner last night, amongst other things, and a couple and a couple sips. But when Kentucky is defending a ball screen, they have a freshman at the five spot and a freshman at the guard spot. So they struggle communicating on those ball screens because it's always two freshmen. Speaking of communicating, Cal's not sure what he's going to say going into that huddle. <laughs> 15 36 remaining in the first half. Today's program lucky row is section 21 from CC. And for those of you who are watching Michigan State hold on to beat Illinois in a Big Ten battle, we welcome you to Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. It's early here. Gonzaga with the early surprise, leading by seven. We'll be right back. Our official welcome to Rupp Arena, everybody. I'm Brad Nussler, my Hall of Fame partners, Bill Raftery, Jay Wright. Fellas, this has started fast, and we haven't even had a chance for our at t fast <laughs> analysis, so let's get on it. Let's look at him, buddy. Antonio Reeves is Mr. Consistency for the Wildcats. He's the older gentleman on the team. He's had double figures in every game but one. He can shoot it. He's athletic. He's got a mid-range game. They can count on him. Uh, counter on the area, Ryan Nembard. Pushes the ball up the floor, creates off the bounce. When he makes threes, he is dynamite. Finds his partner. Big time point guard with a great feel for the game. For the folks who are watching, the Big Ten had just joined us. This is a quick start for Gonzaga. They couldn't ask for anything more right Woo. now. You are not kidding. And they really haven't hit threes. Greg hit one. But, Rap, to your point about Nebhart, when Nebhart starts to hit threes and Greg's hitting them and Hickman's hitting them, that's when they're really dangerous. That's their shot to beat the Cats because the Cats can score. You know what's impressive about this game? Two coaches that have courage to play a game during the conference right. of a national stature. Did you ever do that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't play this one right now. It's, I wouldn't come to Rupp, I'll tell you that. DJ Wagner back in the lineup for Kentucky today. And that's good to see. He's been out with an ankle injury, and they've gone one and three in his absence. Here he is. Wow. He draws a foul. That's him with him, but boy, he can go left as well as anybody in the country. You know what? We recruited him out of high school. He did not do that that well in high school. 
So Wagner at the line and even though this was not the starting lineup and there you take a look at who's on the floor five freshmen. Oh yeah. When you when you recruited him out here, did you tell him you don't go left well, or were you just I did. What, I just kissed up a little? No, no, I didn't. I used to talk to him about it when he was a sophomore and junior. Like, I, you got to get better, and he did. He kept getting better and better. And it's funny, you scout him, and you say he goes left well, which is a testament to DJ and his work. Mm -hmm. How about they got the two young bigs in together, Bradshaw? And Ivasic. When I said they had five freshmen, they took one out and they put another one in. And Brad, Bradshaw with a little nickel dimer, but this is a little bit of a dilemma for Cal, I think. All of a sudden, Watson's got a bigger guy that he can do damage with. You like points? We should have them today, I'd say. These guys mm. can score. And, and the, the Zags have led the country in scoring like four out of the last five years. What a nice set there, a little curl and a cut here. And we're going to have a foul. On Bradshaw, I think, and if it is, it's two. Well, they are ready to play. Good cuts, good response. Watson, beneficiary at the rim. Ness and I were watching practice. Raph, you were holding court with everybody, but <laughs> that was, they broke that play down when, when they rolled, not to look to score, but look for the other forward. And they did that three on three, breaking that down in practice. The Zags offensively, watch the forwards when they get the ball. They look for the other forward cutting to the rim or outside on the perimeter for a three. The Bradshaw didn't last long. Two quick fouls. He'll go out. The arrow comes back in. Hickman in particular, Jay, uses that pin down curl. Yeah. Beautifully. Turns the corner in the lane. If anybody likes good offensive basketball, these two teams are very well schooled offensively. Well, usually keeps that dribble alive. Look at him. They got four drivers on the floor. They can get Look. to the rim and kick out. He can score. Can oh, what a follow by Darrow. He's got six quick. And that's all set up by the dribble drive. Gets the attention of the defenders. And nobody checked. EK doubled. There's a teardrop that's a little bit short. Trying to keep it alive. It'll be Kentucky ball. Like you said, Rack, drives don't just score or draw fouls. They open up offensive rebounding opportunities because it turns everyone's head to the ball and you have to start rotating in your help. Fierro went up and recognized it. Got to stick these guys, Jay, too. They're such a good offensive rebounding team. Wagner step back threes off the mark. EK with a rebound. They got some numbers here if they want. You know how the Zags can slow it down offensively without walking is put it in the post. When the ball is in a post, it slows down. There it goes. Nice so strong. Strong. How about that pass? The selection gorgeous to finish attractive. You see how he looked to kick out to his fellow forward first? Yeah. He was guarded and he went and scored. They're, they're really well schooled in that. Look for that forward to forward passing. Reeves now. Big Z. Big Z lost it going up and had it knocked out. Gonna have a foul. There's Gonzaga's tournament profile. What do you think, Raph? I'm, I'm thinking they, they probably, even with a win today, they're, they're probably going to have to win the, the conference tournament. I'm not a wager or better. I would never bet against them. Never. I, I mean, I, that team and that program, over the years, they've been struggling to get in the tournament, win their tournament. Mark was telling us that yes. yesterday. I saw my, some of my teams that weren't that good. We got in the tournament. We got hot at the right time. They're coming off a win over Portland, but they lost to St. Mary's the previous game, and so they're two games back in the WCC standings. Very understated. Uh, you could learn from him. <laughs> he is such a relax. He, he was great with us, and, and you know, he and Cal are great friends. We, we're on an ad hoc committee together for all the issues in NCAA basketball. Cal and Mark are two of the great leaders in our country in college basketball and the National Association of Basketball Coaches. Brady, this kid can, he has a counter too, by the way. Oh man, he's That's just that left, that is. By the way, can. Mark said that you kind of left him out in the, hanging in the rowboat, as he said. I saw him committee. tell you, I heard him tell you that. <laughs> I left them all hanging. Wow, is he strong attacking the arrow. Whew, taking things personal. He's the upperclassman that has the physicality to contend and go up against guys like E.K. E.K.'s been handling the young bigs pretty well so far, offensively and defensively. Well, think of it, no Trey Mitchell. Again, they haven't had the whole team, right, Grant? No. Collectively? It's seven different starting lineups, and not everybody's been healthy at the same time. 
And I think what helps them, they've got Mitchell and Reeves, they've been around a little bit. The arrow's been around. It's not been all freshmen right. we're accustomed to. Yeah. I, I think they miss Trey Mitchell a lot. In, and uh, he, he's the communicator out there defensively. Early in the year when he was playing a five top spot, they weren't struggling with ball screens because it was him in the ball screen communicating with the young guards. Mm -hmm. Now, if our fans can watch every ball screen is a freshman big and a freshman guard defending it. Trey's missed the last couple of games now. Back issues has been part of the problem. Up on the floor now, good offensive player, good in the box area. Great hands. Nice hands. Hands. Comes Wagner on the fly. Reeves three in and out. DJ Wagner is the best defensive guard they have. He's a guy that can keep the ball in front of him. Stromberg did a good job. He comes up short here on the other end. We Kept it alive. About Gonzaga's profile with the tournament not that far away. Here's what Kentucky has going this year. Six they, and four in the conference. They had a couple of losses in a row here, right? We saw yeah. the North Carolina win, you and I rap. Yeah. I in your hometown, Atlanta. Yep. Didn't see you much in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a move. A little lingerie on the deck. That's where Antonio Reeves has really added to his game. He's got, he's got some mid-range game, and he's getting to the rim a lot better this year. It's becoming complete. An automatic switch. Got to take him with the bounce. He's got what he wants. Oh, they gave Hickman an open look, though, and That's, he buried it. Uh, he really dazzled them with the bounce. Got him organized and drills it. Yeah, he was four for six and threes on Wednesday night. He's got his first one here in the first half. Well, pretty good D by him as well there, containing. Hero goes after Greg. Nice job on defense. He has not been able to turn the corner, though. This kid can get by anybody. Dillingham scoop shot. Just drops in the hands of them. He usually makes those. That, that's unusual for him. He's a great finisher. Well, Huff can make that three, too, to pick and pop. Huff's coming off a big game on Wednesday, too. 25 off the bench. He's got a little left hook here. Couldn't get it to drop, though. Antonio Reeves with a little juice to his game as his senior year. Down the other ring. Get those puppies organized. Downtown Lexington, Nickman. Gonzaga by six. They've led by as many as seven. Tonight starting at 10.30 Eastern, it's all things Super Bowl over on CBS Sports Network. And we'll wrap up the season with exclusive post-game coverage of the 49ers and the Chiefs tomorrow night at 10.30. The game is almost here, fellas, on this super Saturday. Gonzaga and the Kentucky Wildcats. You see the countdown is now one day, one hour, 53 minutes and 40 <laughs> seconds before Super Bowl 58 on CBS. By the way, Cal, it's his birthday today. His buddies from Pittsburgh, they got a call pass out of Pittsburgh. <laughs> they, brought, they brought a pizza down for him. All right. <laughs> a little home cooking. That's great. I'd love to know his favorite pizza spot in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I gotta find that out. Probably owns it. <laughs> <laughs> Never had thought about a three. I haven't seen much of this. I thought I'd see more. Watson on the baseline. Nice rebound and kick. That's when you get those open threes, Jay. Braden Huff gets an easy one. Good luck. Good luck. Tough rebound by Justin Edwards for Kentucky. He gets it back from Shepard and he'll try three. Nice hustle, Reeves. Kentucky 0 for 4 from outside the arc, fellas, and they're the best three-point shooting team in the country. That was up for grabs, every Nice hustle by back screen to big and pop out. Gonzaga's well prepared. Shepard had it blocked by Hickman. Oh, foul behind by Hickman. Boy, Just, does a great uh, job on defense, and then he picks. It was a good effort play. You're, you're right. Block yes. shot. You're, you're right. That was a, that was really well prepared. We saw them scout this. You know, this test kid, the three. This kid is as popular here, Shepard, as you are at Villanova. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. That's a compliment because it's incredible here how much they love him. For that sounds like a runner. It's amazing the release. He's almost not at the peak of his shot on the knockdown. About one more defensive stop and one more Kentucky basket, and you're going to hear some noise in this building. Nice hesitation. Hickman's pretty good in pick and roll too. He was the point guard last year for the Zags, so he's very comfortable in pick and roll where 
Kentucky struggles. I love how they're slowing us down and going to the post. Watson to try to back in. Forward nice to pass. forward. Double dribble now. Time to shoot. I thought that was a double dribble. Either way, Kentucky's ball. Good defensive possession for the Wildcats last time down. Nice footwork here. A little finger roll won't go. This is where I love him. Yeah. Now he stops too without walking. Watch another knee. Pretty strength. And another strong rebound this time. Agnetto. Size is giving Watson a little trouble, Jay. It is. And, and these defense with the size, you would think they could gamble a little. Contain the bounce has been their problem in the ball screen. Exactly. But they're good on this end, boy. Reed Whoa. Shepard is great at finding people. They are dangerous. And open threes. On tournament time. There's that flick again. Nice outlet pass to Nembhardt. He came right to the rim. Hickman. Oh, I don't know how he got that to go. How about that? They ran, it. they ran him off the three-point line. Got to give Kentucky credit there, but he made a tough runner. That's a shot you want him to take if you're Kentucky. Double figure first half for Nolan Hickman with 11 already. He came really doing a good job. Showed too strong. It's the difference defensively. E.K. and Watson defending ball screens for Gonzaga are veteran players who really communicate. The young guys from Kentucky struggle with communication. I love how they're slowing it down at the post-ups. Somebody's got to get to the front of the rim. Well, I guess not. Put it right up on Shepard over half court. He can drill him. Notice how Kentucky's not getting much in transition because of the slowdown inside game of Gonzaga. Well, EK, strong rebound. Shepard leaves the SEC and steals. He almost got one there. Yeah. Plays the passing lanes beautifully. Love the way he shortens the court. Two freshmen in a ball screen. And one. Like I say, on the floor. Foul wow, before the shot. I guess Tommy Duncan was the fundamental, right? The big fundamental. I think that's what Shepard is. Yeah, he is. At the guard spot, he is the big fundamental at the guard spot. But you saw there, again, Nemhart getting to the rim. That that can't happen. The Kentucky Big's got to switch out on that and square him up. Cal knows it. Cal's going back to simplifying. He told the team, Kansas City Chiefs lost three games in a row. What did they do? They simplified it. That's what we're going to do. Well, that was a simple look, too. Oh, nice and he gets back. it back, and Greg will slam it. Nembard with the five. So heady. Boy, great hustle as well. The more Gonzaga executes offensively, the less Kentucky can get out in transition, and that's where Kentucky really scores. Big Z outside. Buries it. Oh. The How about his time with Georgia, by the way? Oh, what a, what a show. Incredible. The Thir Croatian sensation. 16 minutes, 13, 5 and 2. But look, how do you quiet down the crowd? Go into the post. And give him that look. That's two in a row. Nice play again, EK. Loose ball rebound, Zags. Ooh. Moving it around the floor in a hurry. And inside, a little grab, if I'm not mistaken. EK Burks. got tangle up underneath with Burks, I think. That'll be his second foul. How about this second. extra look, huh? Second one of these they got off a loose ball rebound for a dunk offensive rebound. Send it in, big fella. Let's take a look at our Jersey Mike's subs game summary. Neither team shooting that well from outside the arc, but one guy that's shooting it well right now is number 11, fellas. He's got 11. And they need him to be good in pick and roll because he was great at it last year. You saw a drop coverage right there. That's how you beat it. You see him on the offensive glass there. Now watch. Watch the big doesn't get out on the shooter. The big has to recognize. Onyenso has to see that switch out on Hickman knowing that he's a three-point shooter. And Onyenso drops and gives up the three. The guard's late getting to him. That's part of the communication that Cal is trying to work on with his team. He's trying to really simplify it. Guard the pick and roll one way. Don't, don't change it up during the game where the guys can get confused on communication. And somebody's got to be in the back alert, too, to help on the roll guy. 
You saw in that graphic when Nolan Hickman's on, they win. When he's not, they don't. So far, he's on, and they lead by five. The 7 13 to go, first half. Two guards have really been solid, Brad. Kind of itch on the floor now, damaged hand. Look good in Brad. He did some of the things he's done. is a point guard, too. He can run the point, get that hard off the ball a little bit. In games, he looked good because he wasn't at practice yesterday. Watching the kick out. Yeah, he's a little bit ill yesterday. That three pointer almost went at the buzzer. But they're putting Watson in the post now. And had a smaller guy on him as a great kick out by Watson. Let's see if Dillingham gets a touch and a look. Watson does a lot of things for this team. But it's a deep shot, a dribble drive, cuts well. Dillingham's going up on his own. Missed the shot, though. EK had a nice defensive hand in his face. Well, they're putting pressure on getting back on defense. Slowing the game down by going into the post. Well, he's he's been so strong. Eating them up. Just don't. His problem is St. Mary's, those fouls uh, in that second half. You're right. He was out for what we say about seven minutes, yeah. right? And, and Mark said he couldn't get him back into the game because it wasn't a stoppage. Yeah, no fouls, nothing. He didn't want to save the one timeout. Dillingham lets his defender go by, and there it goes. His opening three. Don't let him get going. Uh oh, you are right, I'm Raph. Fired. If I, you guys remember Tom Kachowski, sure. Rob Dillingham's a great line that Kachowski had. He breathes, he scores like we breathe. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kickball, he didn't miss this one. Uh, once again, the dribble drive breaks the defense down, a little pump fake bite, and then more may have over helped on that particular play, but not on. But the depth delivery. Nice oh, save. rejection by Ivasic. Kek's going the other way and draw a foul. That's one thing you don't want to get going. When they're on the loose, whew, they are difficult to stop. There's two plays we saw right there. Dillingham getting it going from three and block shots or bad shots leading to transition. They are lethal in transition. There's no stopping them. And it sends Jordan Burks to the free throw line. Has only shot seven free throws all year. He rips that one, however. NCIS, NCIS Hawaii are back with new seasons. To grab your gear and head out with the team to investigate high stakes crimes with Navy and Marine Corps ties. NCIS, followed by NCIS Hawaii. New season premiere Monday on CBS. Now, if Kentucky could do the good D combined with creating turnovers and blocking shots, I mean, this team could be awfully tough. Now here comes Come the rough crowd, as I mentioned earlier. Gonzaga led by eight. It's been cut to two. Gonzaga's best defense is their offense. Good shots and don't turn the ball over. I like this matchup. Uh, Watson look, goes right hand. Look who's there. EK. I thought he should have kicked it right. Hickman was wide open. They overplayed it with three defenders. So EK, their leading scorer at 15 a game's got 10. Dillingham could start to get heated here. When he gets going, he does it in bunches. He doesn't need much help either. Oh, nice crossover by Wagner. Uh, got it to go. Pretty. Like EK gets down the floor, doesn't he? Really does. Nice extra look. Greg, short. short. Arm. Edwards will bring it down. Kentucky a chance to tie or lead if that goes, and it's way short by Wagner. That's the one area he's going to get better. He's just not a great a stroke. It'll happen. Got that talent. Once that ball goes in the post, good things happen. Defender Onyenso turns his head, staring at the ball, doesn't see his, his offensive player, gives up an offensive rebound. A good defense there. Took away that dribble handoff. Hickman was open momentarily. And they're leaving him, too, with the overhelp. EK is going to get it back out to him. There it goes. Got away with it. Nice flat back. Right back to Hickman. Greg lets his man go by. And foul in the paint. How aggressive was that maneuver? Woo! We call that playing off your jump shot, meaning... He caught the ball to shoot. If he was open, he was going to shoot, but he knows they're going to fly at him, and they're going to try to take him off the three-point line. And then he's going to attack the rim. And ferociously, he he looked for the contact. That's the only way to go out a big shot blocker like that. 
Men's a good free throw shooter, 78 percent. Thank you. <laughs> EK gets a well-deserved break. Had a great first half on both ends of the floor. Now we haven't mentioned Steele Vendors not being here. And he might be their best shooter uh, if yeah. he was healthy. Yeah, the transfer from Eastern Washington, they were expecting him to fill it up, particularly late in games. Yeah. They haven't had some responses that the coaches would like. Braden Huff, who's in there now, and Strawthers, they're counting on a lot more because Vendors isn't here to play. They, he would have been the floor spreader. Look at that rotation and recovery. You mentioned how good you like their defense. A pair of 33 is going at it here. Ooh. And turnover, Kentucky. Pretty good day. 344 remaining. First half. Three point game. Every month we take a look back at the trailblazing path of Kentucky's Reggie Warford. He was a member of the 75 NCAA Final Four team as well as the 76 NIT Championship team. And he made history when he became the first black men's basketball player to graduate from the university. Reggie passed away in May of 2022 at the age of 67, but his legacy lives on here in Lexington. And you know more about Reggie. You know, Ness, he was a great coach, too. He was an assistant coach at University of Pittsburgh under Paul Evans with John Calipari. I used to work for camp with those guys. Reggie was a great guy, a really smart basketball guy. And he and Cal were very good friends. Well, the difference between the two of us, I got to know him socially. <laughs> the that doesn't I'll surprise you, me. I bet you Reggie liked that a lot better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I love being around them. And Sean Miller was a guard in those days, right? Exactly. Uh, he coached. He coached Sean. Send it home. Send it in Jerome. <laughs> Gonzaga has led throughout. If you're just joining us, Kentucky actually led two to nothing, but it's been Zags ever since. Look at this, Brad. Got it from and three. That's all the dribble drive, head spinning, guys gambling, and nobody staying home on the shooter. Three guys in double figures now for Gonzaga. Nice block by Watson, and they kept it alive. And here comes Greg and Hickman together. Trying to bury his guy, Greg. Oh, he had him. Yeah, he did. Ness, you talked about the great game Braden Huff had against Portland last game. He's in there now. He's look at this. Good minutes. Look at this look. I know they missed, but goodness. They've got them spotted. Ooh. He got it right back, though, Jay. There's your guy, Ness. But he. Really, his last game, 25 points, he was incredible. Posting up, hitting three. That little left hook, too. The counter, he's going to be a big time player, I think. And of course, Rap knows his grandfather socially. Yeah. <laughs> Rap knows everybody socially. So just when Kentucky had it cut down to two, it stretches back to eight again. And we're getting down to the around two minutes to the half. Dillingham, great pass. Eva sits with a half turn jumper and drew the foul. Is that two, I think, on Greg? We were talking about Braden Huff, Raft Ness, about his great minutes. Redshirt freshman. If Vendors wasn't hurt, he probably wouldn't be playing that much, but he's right. just getting better and better as the season goes on. 26 and 8 against San Diego, so he's had some games where he's been huge for him. Big Z there, I thought just a difference in, in an older forward. When he rolled there, I thought he had an extra pass. He could have dropped it to Fierro for a dunk, and he. He just thought shot first. You know, he's not used to the rotating defenses yet. Yeah, and then you played some international, uh, some trips, obviously, with the Olympic team, et cetera, and World Cup team. It's different, the approach they have, right? As players, yeah. the bigs, yeah. they can make shots, they can pass, facilitate. Bottom here was seven off the bench. The game he had here, his first game against Georgia, he threw the behind the back pass for a That dime. was a beauty. That was incredible. incredible. Same thing as before. Good clean look, too. Loose ball rebound again goes to the Zags. That's what killed Kentucky against Tennessee. Every loose ball seemed to go to the balls. And those long threes, you really have the guards have to rebound. Yep. Braden Huff's got Fierro in the post in there. He wants it, too. I give it to him. Guys come out the screen. Tough catch. Dillingham. How about that defense? Good, just not giving up on the play whatsoever. Watson. Emhart. Wow. 
That's his first basket. He's tough. He's just running the show. Nothing extra. He's Take him what they give him. You're right. He kept trying to get to the rim. That's the first time he got to the rim all game. Nice defense again, Watson. Hasn't been a lot of turnovers, but that's Kentucky's third. Watson off the window and one. What a give up in the backcourt to set it up. Okay. Sure play, Raph. Talk about this pass, Raph. I just love it. What is few we have them playing right now, and he knows size. He can manhandle and finish for a chance at three. You know, Anton Watson doesn't blow you away, but it, he can bite you at any time. Like right there in transition, he beat all the bigs down the floor. He's, he's, he's like a four man, but he can outrun people. He can finish at the rim. He can shoot threes. He, he, he needs to have a big night, too. Hickman's been great, and he needs to have a big night, too. So Watson, who made the defensive play on one end, ends up the recipient of a three on the other end. And it stretches the lead out to 11, double figures. Again, who's there? Watson. Yep. Influenced. Look at EK run right to the middle of the lane. Got him in there on Big Z. I think he's a little too strong for Big Z. Yeah, you know, it's inexperienced defensively, too, wow. by Big Z. What and a pass. take advantage. What a great read. You're right, Brad. Watson, great pass. EK adds to his total. He's got 12. They're the things Watson does. You're right, Ness. That, that, to recognize the flash high-low there and throw that pass. This is where you need Shepard to take over, really. You get a good look here on the dribble drive, and why not Dillingham? That will help. That's why Shepard's back on the floor, though. Not as organized as normal. Second three-pointer for Dillingham. If anybody hasn't seen Dillingham, he could get on fire. That gets him going in the second half. They're going to need him. Coming up, AT&T at the half, Ben Stover, Chris Walker, Seth Davis will break down our first half and have highlights from around the country, including a quartet of top ten teams on the road against unranked foes. And that's all coming up at AT&T at the half. We've got an unranked team that's got number 17 on the ropes here in the first half. Forty two thirty two Gonzaga leading Kentucky with five seconds left in the first half here at Rupp Arena. What do you got on the sideline you know, of bounds right here as important as it is for the Zags to score here. What's most important is don't turn the ball over. Go in at least up 10. Don't let Kentucky get a shot. But I like something maybe over the top. See how Ike's on the weak side there. Maybe something over the top to Ike. Go right into him. And ball out of bounds to Kentucky, 0.1 seconds. Speaking of up yeah. 10, 159 straight wins for Gonzaga, leading by 10 or more at a half time. Wow. Wow. Something for the 20,500 in Rupp Arena to ponder. You did go to bed early, didn't you? Uh, <laughs> it's the end of the first half. Gonzaga 42, Kentucky 32. We'll send you to Brent Stover and company in our studio for the AT&T at the half right after these messages. Arena in Lexington, 42-32, Gonzaga. Welcome back, everybody. Brad Nessler, Jay Wright, Bill Raftery. A lot of folks that are just joining in are saying, I'm surprised at that score. How about you guys? It's impressive how Gonzaga has controlled the tempo by putting the ball inside, playing out of the post. So even if they miss, the shots are close to the rim, and Kentucky's not getting out in transition. Old versus young is a fair evaluation. You've got to get organized if you're Kentucky. This right. is a talented team that can do a lot of damage, but defensively, they're not together. They're not on a string. They're not talking, as you mentioned earlier. they got to get it going. This is a very tough-minded Gonzaga team right now. Take a look at our Jeep first-half statistics. You know, one that jumps off the page at me, guys, Kentucky's only had four turnovers, but Gonzaga's turned it into 10 points, and that's the difference in the score right now. And it's usually the other way around. That's right. how Kentucky scores. They get out in transition. Gonzaga has done a great job of taking it to them and being physical on the glass, physical inside. But we both know, guys, because we've all talked about this watching all their games, Kentucky can go on runs yep. and put up numbers real quick. Not bad analysis for a football guy on the points over turn. I think he's been hanging out. How many games? I think he's done a couple games here at Rupp and seen some ball here. How, <laughs> How many? many? I think 85? I think somewhere around 85, yes. <laughs> 
159 straight wins for Gonzaga when they're up by 10 or more at halftime as we open the second half with that 10 point lead. I think they got Shepard. I think Terry got Shepard on the outside with the grab. Yep. A reach in, which he's very good at. That'll be a second. Oh, they're going to say first. Take it back. You know, the Zags always get uh, complimented about their skill level, but today their physicality driving the ball, putting it into the post, getting to the offensive glass against, as you said, Rap, a younger Kentucky team is pretty apparent here. Now, this is where Shepard, I think, has to take control, get people in the right spot, communicate on the other end, more importantly. And Reeves' time, maybe, Jay? Definitely Reeves, and as soon as Dillingham comes in, he's a guy that can light it up. Nice hands by Gray. Got to be careful with the fouls. Tierra is usually a tough matchup. There he is. Shepard has not scored and still has it. Kept alive, though. Offensive rebound for Agnenso. Yeah, they got to be a little more aggressive. Get into this game. That three goes. And the nice Tierra with the foul. Justin Edwards, the pride of Imhotep High School in Philadelphia, coming off a career high against Vanderbilt, 17. And if he could get it going from three, that would get cats. Nice footwork. And look at and the block. Tierra. Kentucky didn't have numbers very long. Gonzaga get back on defense. He's in the attack mode, Tierra. Didn't he get a piece of the lane? Shepard, a scoop with two hands. And one. It's your boy, Raph. He knows that, buddy. He just body searched at the end of that. A pride dribble, just making sure if somebody's home, he's going to deliver it. But right here, that Watson on that aggressive pursuit. Big time finish. Try to cap off a three point play. Sat right in front of him at practice yesterday when he hit 39 out of 40 free throws. Oh. Talk that one in. He's one of those guys that doesn't hit the rim when he shoots, too. There's his dad, Martin. Oh, Jeff and Stacy. Some of the crowd on their feet trying to urge on the Cats. But Hickman just keeps on trucking. Confident player. Can't let him get downhill like that. He's too good when he gets in the lane. Shepard off the window. Got it. Time. He sort of seizes the moment, this kid. Got two explosive offensive teams. Someone's gonna have to get some stops and make a difference here. Greg's got what he wants over here. He had Reeves in the box. That hard, nice drop pass to EK, but nice pure win. Son, Jeff, I did a lot of his game. So did you guys, uh, Raf. Yeah, I did in Maui. MVP in one Final Four, a two-time champion. The only and I can remember the hops he had. Oh boy, can he jump out he of the gym? Elevate. And Reed's, Reed has sneaky hops too. Yeah, he, 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 he doesn't look like it, but he's got it. Good ball screen coverage right there for the Wildcats. Five to shoot. E.K. inside, whacked out of there by Thierro. Second time they came with help. When, not immediately, though, Chet. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Now they got to defend against the lob on this inbound. There's only .7 seconds. Pedro has got to be careful. And yep. those two fouls already. E.K. is initiating now. E.K. did this against St. Mary's in the late stages of their loss to them. He's an emotional guy. Got to catch and That's, shoot this, can't. He can flick it right up, too. That. Yep. Watching on a fade. And shot clock violation. Actually a pretty good shot out of it. It was. It was. Good execution, good shot. I think Cal expressed his thoughts about energy, and particularly on the defensive end. Shepard, three, in and out. Oh, goodness, the arrow with the attack. Man, you can feel that way over here. Nice cover. Reeves has not gotten them going offensively yet. Nice replace. Woo-hoo! Left-hand runner got it. 
talk about a shake and bake in North Philadelphia. The Zags' lead's been cut to four. And as we take a look at our AT&T fast analysis, everybody picks on Kentucky's defense, guys, and lo and behold. You got it, Ness. A dude, Thierro, knew he can't let EK get to the rim. And that got him started, Raph. And the age, the read by Reeves from out top, the steal, gets him going the other way. And then the pride of North Philly, Justin Edwards, scooping and duping. So the defense turns to offense. And the crowd into it now as it's 46-42. And it was just moments ago, it was a 12-point lead. I've watched a lot of Gonzaga games this year, and they are resilient. They do give up some leads on occasion, but they are tough-minded. Poise essential now. They got EK out of the game right now. Braden helps him for Brian EK. That could bring a big away from the rim, and maybe Watson could do some damage. I'm it's that. a big guy, but it's not the same guy underneath. Nice curl. He loved that little play. And Hickman had it swatted down. No foul call on Reeves. It's interesting here. Look at that. The arrow took a shot in the chops. I don't know if they're going to look at this. No. He play on. Pretty good D there on the baseline out of bounds. Watson trying to back in. He's pretty good manhandling people. Getting a good shot. Came up empty. Look at Greg go after him. Let's hope he's okay. That kid competes. Pops right back up. Gripping his teeth a little bit. They're pretty good look again. Very good look. And man, Greg's going to the glass hard. Everybody's been critical of Kentucky's D. We got to give them credit here. They've come out in the second half, and they've gone locked down right now. Reeves the line back. back. He's going to go to the free throw line, pushed. And Bradshaw go to the strike. CBS tomorrow after Super Bowl 58 uncover the mystery with a premiere of a new series Tracker starring Justin Hartley part of CBS premiere week Tracker new tomorrow immediately after the Super Bowl 58 on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. Yeah, what Kentucky does Jay is they weave pass cut run the, the ball screen up and Shepard is so good feeling when to throw the lob but also you take away the action weak side. Exactly, and they usually have a shooter on the weak side, so it's tough to help on that roll man. Aaron Bradshaw got one of two to cut the lead to one possession here with 16, 20 to go. He can pop out on this, he's rolling. He loves to come back to that shoulder. Huff. How about that's the counter the kid has. He's going to be good. He is. Big time counter for the lefty to go with his right hand to the middle of the floor. Jumped on that shoulder. Reeves has been pretty quiet today. That'll help. He got a matchup on Nebhart. Too small, just took him to the rim right over top. That's 6'6. Six, six. I like how Reeves and Fierro, the upperclassmen, are stepping up. Even though Fierro's only a sophomore, but they're stepping up here defensively and on the offensive end. Nebhart maybe turn the corner and be creative. And watching the drive and a chance for a three-point play. What an entry pass, though. Outside to that left side of the body. Beautiful. How about Reeves? Antonio, big time kiss. And Lexi DKY. Two deep at his prime. <laughs> but Jay and I saw South Carolina getting ready for this game with Kentucky. I mean, Lamont Paris did a great job at UT Chattanooga. Got them playing solid. Guys stepping up. Michi Johnson making threes. Cooper making assists. He might be coach of the year, too. Mm -hmm. he, he should be. And to your point, they beat the Wildcats in South Carolina by kind of doing the same thing, slowing the game down. Gonzaga's doing it by going inside. Nice little curl for Reed. Look at the replace in the corner where he had him, too, if he gave it up. Now Kentucky with a loose ball. Whew. Got to have some vision. Reed was open. I like Reed Shepard to handle the ball up here. He can, he can make those.
You give him that one, though, Jay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's only made three for the year, but you don't want to live and die with it, but he can make them if they need it. Yeah, small sample. Ooh, good hands. Good defense. Bigger. Edwards. Here comes Reeves. And the foul. That, that's what you want him to do. Exactly. Forget the three. Get to the ten. Rawway, New Jersey's finest. Sprinting the floor. Great finish. Veteran guards here. We've got it in the hands of Hickman and Nemhart. And they go right to that ball screen. Oh, you hit the open jumper. Watson drop step, right hand. Shepard with a rebound. He gives it up early. They all give it up. Yeah, they they all share it. Unselfish. Really impressive for a young team. You do a young team, don't share it. Shepard way up off the window. And the follow again by Fiero. Any time you drive to the rim and another shot blocker comes, bears that weak side. The lead's cut to two. And John Calipari teaches that. If you get to the rim, if you don't think you can score, put it up high on the glass. Let our bigs go get it. He talked about that in practice. Mm -hmm. Top's going to try a three. A little short. Shepard gets it back here. Reeves for the lead. Got it! Kentucky with only their second lead of the afternoon, fellas. We talk about this, Nets. When you get to the rim and you draw help, everyone turns their head and watches the ball. They don't see the defenders come to the offensive glass. Kentucky takes advantage of it as well as anybody. Uh, we talk about Kansas being a great place to go and watch a game, which it is. <laughs> it's pretty special here. It, sure it is. It really is. 85 I'm times. Brad's gone home with juice pumps, I think. <laughs> <laughs> a 20-7 run, seven straight for the Wildcats. Their only lead since the opening bucket that made it 2-0. How many home court arenas have held a Final Four in their home, on their home court? That's a pretty impressive place. The home of Rony Massimino and the Wildcats. Big trip, I think, now psychologically. And they go to EK and a nickel dimer on Jensen. The Zags are a different ball club with EK out of the game. No question. Kentucky made yep. their run with him out. He's only got the one foul, I believe, right, Brad? Yep. I think they got to play through Anton Watson and EK right here. A little oh, slippage out there. I like this setup right here. Just a good solid possession here is give it to Anton or EK and let them look for each other and then make Kentucky overreact and take what you get off that. Then he gambles, Shepard. look at this kid. Got the steal and the lay-in. He does not give up on the play. Tenacious. I know he gambles, but goodness, he comes up with big time plays. Steps. Shepard with the loose ball. Reed Shepard so wise for a young yeah, freshman. Wiley Vett almost. Look at this shot. Oh, and the shot. Oh. And one. Jeff high-fiving his wife, Stacy. And the kid is lighting the crowd up. Now, Jay was wondering why all the youngsters were wearing shepherd shirts. <laughs> That's a pretty good example right there. A little sprint, a little kiss. He how, owns the town. How about those quick hands defensively and his ability to change hands on their best? Before the game, I was watching him. He warms up with tennis balls quick, and hand quickness drills with the trainer and using tennis balls. Mm. It showed there. He says, my mom's game is a little more like mine. She scored over 1,000 in her career. His dad was the high flyer we talked about. EK underneath. And a chance for a three-point play on the other end. Nice two-man play. Nembard on the money with a great look. EK with some strength at the rim as well. Nice dive to the rim here. 
Richard Chetch to give away. Great answer. This is what you're talking about, the Zags. They stay poised. They continue to run their offense. They're not, this crowd is tough. I hope everybody can hear it on TV. It's tough to play in this place. And they continue to execute. Counter that can Kentucky sustain it. You know what I mean? They've had a really yeah. good run. Yeah. A couple of good defensive trips. How do they react? Uh oh, you can hear the crowd. Dillingham's going to the going to the scorer's table. <laughs> He's only got two threes today. Oh, one and Shepard way out. Reeves trying to keep it alive, but Hitman and Nembar got it to hit. pretty play. Little things that help you win. Hickman scored three early in this half and hasn't since. He was their offense in the first half of the Zags. But EK really knows how to get free in the box area. Here's a really good screen. How smart was that one? Timeout, 11.46, Reed Shepard. Just like his daddy, Ness, he can do it all. Switch his hands, go to the rim. Reed Shepard's lighting up rough the lead and we welcome you back we want to give a shout out to our partner over here Bill Raftery who is the winner of the college sports communicators 2024 Jake Ward award a uh, Jake Wade award beg your pardon goes to members of the media that have outstanding contributions to intercollegiate athletics my you know, man congratulations my, my man. man congrats yeah, buddy. you know it's not like the only thing he's ever won, though. They, no. ran, they ran out of people to give it to, by we, the way. We know, Ness, how good he's an All-American yeah. late night, but <laughs> I want the world to know he was the National High School Player of the Year. Look at these other teams. Look at the other players. Look, Look at, at that there body. He is. Look at that body. Oh, Look at the arms. Wow. St. Cecilia High School Ooh. in Newark, New Jersey. Look at him. He, oh, was a, God. he was a pretty boy, too. He was. He was a ladies' man, you that, could say. That is Look embarrassing. Right. Let's get back to the game. No, Look, did you see I the other names? Wanna, that list Oscar is unbelievable. Robertson, Wait Will a minute. Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain had his jersey retired by three different teams. Jerry Lucas by Ohio State. Cassie Russell by Michigan. Oscar Robertson by three other teams. Connie Hawkins by the Suns. Bill Bradley by the Knicks. And Bill Bradley was a senator. Raph could have been the governor of New Jersey, well, he but he wanted to the, hang he, with you. Yeah, he wanted instead. to be either the mayor or the governor, which is basically <laughs> what he is everywhere we go. I told <laughs> Congratulations, Raph. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. I told Jay that my uniform is retired. It's a restroom on the Jersey <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where that is. But uh, we got a great one here. The guards taking over. Shepard getting a little bit of a blow. And Dillingham's back in. Look out. When Dillingham comes in, anything could happen. He could score from anywhere. That three doesn't go. Top offensive rebound by Bradshaw. And here's Dillingham. I like when he attacks, though. It just decimates the defense. It's going. No, I thought it was going up. Instead, it's the arrow. And he drags it. He dragged a couple people, though. He's so worried about Rob. Only his fifth three-pointer of the year, but it's a big one here. That was a big shot to stem this tide. Rob Dillingham had nine assists to get Look at this. He is so tough. He really is schooling the bigs, though. EK, he buried his guy, made him disappear. All you can see from the top is number 13. I think that's four on Bradshaw. Nope, it's only three. But their answer every time down is inside, inside to EK, and it and it takes away all Kentucky's pressure. It slows the game down. And he is a good free throw shooter. EK right on his average, and now over his average, 16 points. Final season of Young Sheldon, and the show that started with a bang is going to go out big. How will it all end? Final season of Young Sheldon premieres Thursday at 8, 7 Central, and the only place to see it's on CBS and streaming on Paramount Plus. E.K. with 17 points to lead the way right now for the Zags. Each prevailing, really. He is a wily performer. Kentucky warming up from outside the arc. That's been their story all year. The number one three-point shooting team in the country. Same play. Nice Lost. hands. The arrow lost it between his legs. Nice Two on one. Too. Hickman had it blocked. Kentucky's got a man out in front. It's Reeves. The lob and the finish by the arrow. Nice oh, slip. No look. 
always the answer. Go back to that middle ball screen. Kentucky still struggling with it. Nebhart and EK are awesome in that middle ball screen. How about the poise, though? The comfort zone after taking the house down that last play. This time, nice going to give it off. And a foul underneath. It was EK with a little slap. But how about this hustle? This is a real turnaround. You got a deuce at one end, the gate, the push. And how about this? Leap the chandeliers, big fella. <laughs> they share the basketball well, don't they, though? For a young team, they give the ball up ahead. They share with each other. They get, they get, that's why they're so efficient offensively. One of the most efficient offensive teams in the country. It is amazing because he's had young people consistently, and they all give it up. Yep. Play together. Two areas young teams always struggle, and our young guys always struggle with playing every possession hard and not taking on possessions and sharing the basketball. And Cal always makes sure they play hard every possession and they share the ball. One of two for Agnieszka. One possession game, and we're halfway through the second half. Oh. I'd like to see EK get it again. Nice five. Oh, uh, Greg, rather. Still no good. Third chance. Nope. But a foul. Boy, Greg, goodness. Covers ground. Gets in the mix. They are competitive. They are. The, the strength of Ben, Greg, Watson, Graham, EK is, is wearing on the thinner, young Kentucky bigs. Are you, are you surprised that that Graham Ike is, is able to have that that effectiveness inside against these athletic I, Kentucky I am, bigs? I, I am, and I, I think part of it we talked about at halftime, they don't deny well. They don't get on the high side. They're easy entries. They are getting it into two. And Embart's so good in particular at dumping it low. There's a foul situation. A couple of those bigs that Jay and Graham are talking about with four and three. Reed Shepard back in there now, right, right away. When they're in trouble, they go to him. Pure point. Reeves drives against EK. Nice no play. foul. How nice about job him defensively. Moving. How about him moving those puppies? Reeves is quick, and, and EK did a great job containing him getting a piece of that. Watson's got the mismatch if they want. He's yeah, got Shepard on him. I'd go right to it. I'd go right to the post if I was Watson. Yeah. The lob to EK and the flush. All right, go to EK, too. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. He is diving and timing beautifully. And Gonzaga has answered the call of Kentucky and regained the lead. Nice cut. Up and under. And in. Got to give Rob Dillingham credit. Rob Dillingham coming off a nine assist game against Vandy with a great look right here. Could usually he drives to score and a beautiful finish, Rob. Now you talk about how they are unselfish. They cut unselfishly just in case you need it. And what a dump off and completion. He came with the foul, and that's his fourth. This really hurt them in their loss to St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. And it was it's about the same time of yeah. that game that EK went out, right? right. And, and Mark talked to us about not being able to get him back into the game. And it'd be interesting to see how long he waits to get him back in. He'll watch how this game goes up and down. If it starts to get away a little bit, he'll come back with them. They had a loose ball and they had they called a timeout to save a possession, so they ended up with only one timeout and didn't help them in that situation. Oh, this is interesting now. It's a different lineup. I think there'll be more lifting of the center. There should be more ability to drive and find some people. Yeah, I think the I agree, Rap. I think they'll play through Watson a little bit more here. Yeah. And Hickman. Watson is going to try three. Good Got call. It. Good call. But how about Watson? That, is that his first? Three-point attempts. His first three-point attempt. He's yeah. yeah. made 16 this year. Eight that's, minutes to go in the sec in the game. That's what experience does. Exactly. Gonzaga back in front by one. Great look. 
Browns, where they get away with leaving their feet but more than most teams. You know that? Yep. Doing that threw it away. There has not been a lot of turnovers, but there's one that is not going to make Coach Calipari happy. Well, you called it right, Jay. Get them organized. Watch it. Big time delivery. Silence from deep. Our game summary, guys. I talked at halftime that the Zags had 10 points off Kentucky turnovers. Kentucky's turned that around here in the second half. That's helped them. Yeah, paying attention to business in detail. Much more aggressive. Throwing the early haymakers. Creating opportunities, drag it to the rim, big time finish. And this strength and hands, I've seen him do this numerous times this year. He out wrestles people for the ball. The point factor, and here you go. And the one thing, Jay, it doesn't seem to impact the Zags, though. I mean, okay, it's a dunk, it's two points. Let's go back down and get something to the other end. Remember, this guy is on the bench with four fouls. Graham EK, 21 points. That is the ninth 20 point plus game of the season and he'll be back in at some point but right now having him on the bench isn't helping their cause. This he has been solid. This would be a huge breakthrough for the Zags if they can find a way to hold a lead here with EK out of the game. They haven't been able to do that this year in the big games mm -hmm. and and Watson's playing better and I think Braden Huff's gonna have to come through big here too. Continue to play through Watson and Hickman here. Nebhardt, nice the entry pass to Huff. How about that? My goodness, no attempt to handle that at it's all. The same play they, they were getting EK on in that middle roll, and Nebhardt is slicing them right now. Goes like Adams at Kansas, that short roll. Nice curl in the lob. Ibasic had it blocked by Watson. Hit the end line. Still Kentucky ball. Boy, they've been effective in this all day, haven't they, Raph? Yeah, absolutely. And look at the back. And look at the back. Nobody at home. Pretty play. Nembard. Choreographer. Braden Huff's giving him good minutes right now with EK on the bench. Coming off of his career high. Nembard, who leads the WCC in assists coming into the game. That last one was a beauty with that spin pass with a little English on it down there for the easy bucket for Huff. Now on the other end is Antonio. Oh, baptism of uh, fire. Shepard, but beg your pardon, the inbound. Interesting out. Big Z's in there. Ivasic. There's that slip. And Reeves got bumped. Schumber couldn't seal that baseline. Stromer in right now. So still not shooting free throws yet. Getting Greg a blow. Both guys trying to get their guys fresh for down the stretch run. Shepard back on the floor to get them organized. The arrow against Watson. Ooh. Little shoulder. There's two studs going at it right there. And in and out. Braden Huff, great contest at the rim for the Absolutely. young guy. Absolutely, he's learned. Right back to that middle ball screen. They're icing it. Yeah, now. they've been trying to do that, but Nebra's able to get to that right side. He's quick, turning the corner. Nebar picked up his dribble. Dangerous pass out I got here. It. You got a Raf. I got, got it. it. Player of the year in '59. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> Tiger will be back. I think he's the host of that event. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he has somebody help hosting so he doesn't have to buy all the food. <laughs> Shepard on a drive. And they open up the middle totally. The blow by. Great lead. read. Lead down to one. All of Shepard's points have come in the second half. Hickman's been quiet too, Jay. Maybe get him going just a little bit. Same thing as easy entry. And Huff He's, scores again. Well, you've got to have some resistance in there if you're Kentucky. But the confidence in Braden Huff to go to him at this point in the game. He's going to really be impressive. He's going to be talented. A, a, a talent, I should say. He is talented. Same thing, open middle. Eight on the shot clock for Shepard. Working against Hicks. And a turn and Tough wheel and shot. deal and got it. Goodness. A post up from your point guard. That's big time. That's he is big strong. time. Rupp's getting on its feet now. You can feel it in here.
I'd go to Huff again. He's wide open. I like Watson. Well, from the rear, Shepard got a piece of it. He is competing, though. Brayden, they, Huff, huh? Brayden Huff has given them incredible minutes. That foul is on, it's on Bradshaw. It might be done. Huh? How about this? And a nice effort by Shepard from the rear, but Huff competing, showing some strength and getting the chance for a couple. That's a difference in Huff redshirting one year and being one year stronger and Bradshaw being a freshman. And Gordon Timmy. Yes, so he gets to me every day. Grandpa will be happy, Jim Dirt. So Huff off the bench, nine points, looking for double figures again here for the redshirt freshman out of Glen Ellen, Illinois. They don't go away this team. No way. Interesting that Dillingham is not in the game right now, not really having one of his better scoring nights. And I think defensively, they, they trust, Cal trust Edwards, Fierro, here he is. And, and Reeves. And Reeves, the yeah, Reeves on the floor, over. these two. Could, I think they ought to play through Reeves. Oh, here. a pull down. That should be Nembar. Try to get away with it. Yeah. Try to fake as though he was being pushed down and just grab the hold of the shirt. It was almost like a chance to take a blow, right? <laughs> yes, he hasn't yes. had many, that's yeah. for sure. And those kids, they play a lot of minutes for this team. He's had eight 40 minute games. Hickman's had 540. Watson, four, and they play around 35 minutes each. And it's not like they play a slow pace, they go up and down the floor. Right. One and one for Reeves, and he got the front end. An 88 percent free throw shooter. They're buying the Zags are buying big time minutes with Braden Huff playing here at EK on the bench and maintaining this lead. And again, you, you both alluded to poor defense in the interior. And Bradshaw's got some foul problems, right? Still, if you can shape up, you Huff a touch in there. Huff scored their last six points for Gonzaga. He's got him again. Going back to him. He likes to go to that right shoulder now. There it is. Up, oh, score to goal. Goal tending. He sets his guy up beautifully. We mentioned the counter earlier with the right hand. Now you're not sure. You're not jumping on that left. Uses that body to spin. Again, that's where we, we heard John Calipari tell Bradshaw practice, don't let him get to his right shoulder. And he suckered him into it. Mm -hmm. So the arrow with the goal tend. Ben Gregg back in. Nice there camera. He there he is. Nice hustle. And it saves it. Greg took a shot, too. He's trying to clear his left eye right now. Running the baseline. He better clear it because he's going to get an open three soon. Bully ball here. Plenty of time still. Hickman for nice three blocked by Shepard. Look at this. Play. And comes down with it. And oh, scores. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? He is an amazing talent. I'd be jumping up and down if I <laughs> Wow, the, the parents. He just is so competitive in loose ball situations. And right here, he's got vision. He had Reeves on the other side, but took advantage. The Six block, for the three. steal, the score. Woo. Can't do it much better than no. that. How many times do you see a point guard leave his feet and block a three-point shot? Mm. And then go down and finish. Just love this kid. Game has never been tied until now. 75-75 with four to go. Here we go, guys. Watson in the post. Ebhard, the Look bounce Watson pass to Watson. It. How? What a great design. Everybody concentrating on the high ball screen. The duck in by Watson. And the entry. Woo! Pretty good basketball. Bury your guy. Finish big time. One day from now. <laughs> and this has been a super Saturday for our crew here at Rupp Arena. Sure has. And this guy's back on the floor. I would go right to him right away, EK. I mean, you use him. You know, he's got some the foul situation with four. 
Really an interesting point, Raph, because Watson's on a foul in here. At this point in the game, at about three minutes and under, I would start looking at who can who can make plays, get his own shot, who can make free plays. Watson is not a great free throw shooter. He is three out of four today. He is. Isn't that much. He's 62 percent from the foul line. And, and, and to your point, and talking to Fuey, he was saying, what are we searching at the end of games for somebody yeah. to be that yeah, guy? Yeah. The guys, when EK went out, it was the 8:30 mark, and Kentucky led by two. He's back in now for the stretch run, and Gonzaga is up by three. That's going to be a really important point in this game, Ness. They were able to hold on here. I wouldn't let Shepard get the ball back. He can make that shot with that tough. quick trigger, and he's got Watson a little disadvantage in terms of speed and being clever. Kentucky's got choices at the end because Reeves can go and make plays, Shepard can go and make plays. Since Watson's making free throws, I'd continue to go to him or EK. Nebar backs it out in front of his coach. We got the hands in there. Didn't move the legs. Shepard picks up the foul. Raft, you dug this one up last night. Uh, late. Just, Very late. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a little blurry when I was doing it, I'm sure you. Uh, but this is how important this game is in a sense. And they don't want to think about it because a lot of games to play. I guess they got San Francisco that now would be considered a quad one if they won. Of course, the tournament. Even though they're not playing San Francisco on campus, they're playing them in the, in the Warriors home right. court. That's still going to be a quad one opportunity for them. But look how dominant they were in, in Quad one games previously. That's Amazing. unbelievable. Well, they're making free throws, and that counts in these tight games. You're not kidding. Three minutes in regulation, three point game. Gonzaga in front on the road. Little horns look and a roll. Reeves and Shepard are the ones that got to take the shots here. Reeves and Shepard. That's a big disadvantage here. And that's not a good match at all. Shepard's got 19 points all in this half. Wow. Unbelievable. Five, five rebounds and three assists. To quote the great North Jersey philosopher, he's a keeper. Mm. <laughs> well, Nembar's got a match up. Uh, they, they, they get it where they want it easily. Again, no forceful. What execution. That high-low plane, usually forwards aren't that good at passes. They're playing through their forwards. 23 but for EK. Kentucky's going to play through their guards. They're going to play through Shepard and Reeves. Here. This is a better match now, at least with Hickman. They had Watson on him on a switch before. Again now, he's going to take him. Got a foul on the baseline. Going to be on Watson. Raph, how about how he buries him in the post? And Watson sees it immediately and delivers it immediately. But no resilience, though. And here, the ability to get to the rim, look people off, finish. Great play shots as well. You know, for a high school player, for a, a freshman coming out of high school to understand how high you have to put that off the glass at this level, he's got a great yeah. feel for that. He's got a great feel for a lot of things. That's Actually, way up on top of the box. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that is a difficult, <laughs> he makes that look easy, but yeah. that is a difficult shot. You've got to practice that. Well, the more you watch him play, is a total command of the game. Yeah. And now you think about, you got to keep an eye on Reed Shepard on this defensive end right now, because he's always shooting gaps, looking to make steals. Mm -hmm. So it's what, and he's watching what Gonzaga is running offensively, where he can slip in and make a steal. What would you do down here if you're Gonzaga? I, I would do EK. I would ride him as well. Oh, and an offensive rebound. That's no bad. foul on Greg. Greg, what a great effort. Fans didn't think so. I like the Zags here. EK, EK and Watson in this again. They're right to the basket. They got him again. Look at this, just thrown in there. And he had to do a better job forcing him out. Nice ball fake. Great second look. Nice repost. One second left. Same situation as before. You gotta get, Gonzaga had a great possession. You gotta give Kentucky credit defensively. That's a heck of a defensive possession. Now you gotta finish it off, Kentucky. Finish it off and get a rebound here. Last time they had point seven. This time it's one point. Hickman, in the, Hickman Hick, in the corner. Exactly. Hickman coming out. There you guys called it. And he almost got it. And they ended up getting the ball, the score anyway. Woo! Old head. Old head Watson. No one hit, no one the shot had to go up. Nothing else could happen. Just go to the offensive glass. Shepard. Tough jumper. Shot. 
Let go. But he drew a foul. Well, he's strong, too. You don't notice it, you know? His ability to hear Hickman a little crawler and being in the right spot, too. Experience prevails. Think of the things Watson has done down the stretch here. And one made his free throws. Right. High low pass into Ike. Offensive rebound. That, that's what a veteran five year guy does. Absolutely. He's a winner. Two state championship at Gonzaga in, in high school Prepare. growing up in Spokane. And dreaming about being a Zag. Shepard rips them both. He's got 21. All right, Kentucky. Here's where Kentucky's got to make their name. Here's where they got to grow up and get a stop. Got to get some penetration, and then EK load up. Battle going on between Anjenso and EK down low. EK's on the other side, though. Watson. Got How about it. that? Wow. Yeah. Does he take over, he huh? Nicely. All down the stretch. Under a minute. Don't try and do it all yourself. The lob is too deep. Oh, they got a foul. Wow. wow. Ooh. Goodness. I just thought it was an errant, an errant toss on this lob. Well, maybe uh, there was an yeah. arm involved. Got to give Reed Sheffer cre credit there for making the Zags make a play. EK is fouled out. They did get that arm, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah. That's a big play. You know what? It didn't look pretty, but Reed Shepard made the right mm -hmm. move because EK turned his back on Oyenso and lost him. And that, that's the pass to make. That's that's a that's a big time play by Reed Shepard right there. Huge game for EK, but it's over. Great effort by that kid though. He, uh, no doubt. He dominated in that little box. He was impressive. And the Zags execution to get him the ball. That's not an easy thing to, to get the ball to a post player. But the way and he was wide open, you think it was easier? I, I think Kentucky plays that way because they have length. 58% by yeah, the way. That's that's the difference. One for two to do. Calipari's got his best defensive team on the floor. Oh, and they got both free throws. 43.3. Two-point game. Don't go away. There's the game reset with 43 seconds to go. You two coaches talked it over during the break. Why don't you just tell everybody what you talked about? Well, I bounced it all in favor here. <laughs> well, we said a lot of coaches, we, we would get a couple traps here, but not foul and play the possession out, count on our defense. I think having watched John Cal Perry in the past, he'll play it straight up defensively and play this out, try to get a stop, knowing you'll get the ball back with at least 15 seconds ago. Now, now, what I would do with Shepard, I would take the other guard to bring the ball up. He would guard the opposite guard and then make him pay for a gamble. Think about it. I, th I think that's a good point because I think that's what Shepard will do. I think Shepard naturally will do that. He, Shepard is going to be looking for any opportunity to jump the play they want. Exactly. Now, Tierro is going to be on them part. I would make sure them part gets the ball and brings it up. And they get it to him. And Kentucky's got a man yeah. down. And he's hurt. Edwards limping into the front court. He's from North Philly. He'll be fine. He'll finish this strong. Nebhardt on the dribble. I like Hickman and Tierro. I like the side This is what I like right here. Time. Hickman, five he, to shoot. He's got to go. The crossover. He got a foul. A jump ball. Jump ball. What nice defense by Edwards. And it's Kentucky ball. Wow. Good call, Ness. Justin Edwards was outstanding here defensively. Saw it, got his hand right on top of it. Yeah. Kentucky takes a timeout. Each team with one left. Same score and down to 13.9, fellas. Well, the strategy paid off, paid off for Kentucky. They played it straight up. Right. They got their stop, right? They've got a one-possession game. Now, Rap, I think early in the clock here, 
you got to get something going to the basket where you get a chance for an offensive rebound. You only shoot a three or a jump shot after an offensive rebound kick out or it get in the lane and they completely compact and you kick out. I, I would I would not let Shepard have the ball. He's the guy that's going to make a play, whether it's a ball screen or just a single straight line drive. You know what? That's a great point. You know what happens, Raph, when you do that? You fear at the end of the game. In denying Shepard, you get a foul call. Well, you also take the head away, too. They're yeah. going to inbound to Shepard, who will bring it up. Dribble drive, you may end up with a three. And they're going to pop out Reeves at the top of the key. Look at the lob and look at the oh, defense. Oh, it's stolen away by Greg. Oh, goodness, a set play. I mean, that's one you've got to read. He knows, doesn't make many mistakes, but that was one of them. Watch, they have Reeves set in the back yeah. screen, and Reeves was going to Reeves was going to pop out. And what communication, too. Greg stays at home, huh? What a wonderful read. You know, as a coach, Mark, will, if they win this game, he would build on the fact that we won the game with a stop. You always want to do that rather than hit a big shot. Wow. Gonzaga was 18 out of 20 from the line before that miss, and that means it's still a one-possession game. Well, the big thing now is if he makes it, you can give that foul at any time now. Don't let him have the three. Guys, Mark Drew took his final timeout in between free throws. Yeah, well, I would never do that with most of my players, except if it was like a rap you said, Colin Gillespie, mm -hmm. Jalen Brooks, a guy that I knew with nothing would affect his mentality. By Mark calling this timeout, he is telling all of us, I have no concern at all with Ben Gregg's mentality. I believe in him, he's going to make it. And, and the big thing now is what are you going to do if he does make it? When are you going to give it? You don't want to give it in the act of shooting. You're going to extend the floor a little bit. Well, he talked that one in. You got a foul on the dribble. Yeah, as soon exactly. as they go into the shot, get away from him. Don't foul now. Reeves. Now. And there's the foul. Perfect. Hard. perfect execution. Now everything has to go to perfection. And I believe a couple of years ago, Kentucky did this and made one miss, got a rebound, and won the game. Well, they've got the personnel that can do it. I'm surprised yeah. Cal doesn't bring in one Another more bigger. sub here to tap back. Well, the arrow can manhandle a little bit on this side, maybe, you know, with Watson, his strength. He's going to count on that. You're absolutely right. Two shots for Antonio Reeves. He's got 16 points on the day, the leading scorer. Drains another one. And now Kentucky takes its final timeout. Four seconds. They're down two. Another timeout in between free throws for strategy for John Calipari. Well, we were just talking uh, years ago, practicing a missed free throw on which side you'd like to miss. And, and they're... Lodienzo on the left would be ideal, but I, I think Fierro can pull his guy, maybe. He also, he obviously trusts Fierro. Fierro could go across the lane and screen Lodienzo's mm. man and miss it on Lodienzo's side, and he taps back. This guy's such a great free throw shooter. I don't know if he knows how to miss, but he did. And Gonzaga got the rebound. And 1.9 seconds remaining See, that's, as we walk the other way. That's our point. You've got to practice how to miss it. That line drive is going to go longer yeah. than you want. Yeah. Decide on which side. Be as soft on the right as you can. Be smart here now. Do not. I would get everybody off the foul line because the only thing that happened is fouling going for a rebound. John Cheney. Remember he took yes. him off. Oh, he took him off. Hickman calmly knocks it down. And if this one goes, it's a two possession game and it's over. Boy, this is a tribute to these Zag kids coming in here ready, prepared, tough minded, resilient, able to take hits and bounce back. I don't think Kentucky's lost three home games in a row since 1967. Wow. Unbelievable. They just have lost three home games in a row. What a great game. A Super Saturday. Super Bowl 58 tomorrow. Gonzaga wins it for Bill Raftery, Jay Wright, our entire CBS crew. Brad Nestle saying so long from Lexington. Don't forget, Super Bowl 58 finally here tomorrow on CBS. We'll send you over to Brent Stober and company in our studio for Inside College Basketball presented by Progressive Insurance right after these messages. So long from Lexington.